Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the Medium. Oh, In the work and oh. no play, are you, Henry? Oh. Right. oh. <laughs> Let's see what makes you tick. So Henry is the special agent that the Polish government sent after us and tortured us, and then we've kind of killed him and I think like invaded his mind via Thomas's mind. Man, this is an awesome looking area. But I believe this is where we are. We are inside of Henry's mind, basically. And Thomas's ability is the ability to enter somebody's mind via spirit life, Thomas, and do creepy stuff. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. Spirit Thomas is a it's a cocky little fella. What the hell is that? <laughs> what, was, what was that? I guess it's like, I can't remember his name, the guy, was it Richard? And we fought that huge demon, sort of fought that huge demon. And that was like Richard's like evil subconscious, basically all the hate and anger of Richard. Maybe that's the same thing. We're in, I can't keep these names straight. They've all got such boring names. Henry and Richard and Thomas. Where's... Gogo Bean or something. If there was a guy called Gogo Bean, I'd remember his name. But basically, maybe that's. Maybe everyone has this monster inside their head and it is very much a metaphorical monster representing all their hate and anger and negative traits in general. So let's casual walk through here. Nothing to see here. Do a little bit of. Ca I know, game, you already told me this. <clears throat> a little bit of Kami Hami, huh? It's interesting, the boss idea, because it's not a game where you can have, like, a boss fight, you know? Also, this really reminds me of Control. Um, you can't have, like, a proper boss fight, so they have to make it a puzzle somehow, or... a race, I guess, because we do have little chasey segments. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. How did we defeat the demon? We just we just charged up a power, didn't we, to defeat Richards, I think, so... Let's see what we do there, old Henry. It's like an interrogation room. Yeah. I still get nervous looking at things. The game hasn't thrown a jump scare at me since like episode two. <laughs> there you are. At least the part of you I'm after. So that's part of Henry. There's something going on with his head. Is he just young? Real a tape. Okay, cool. Case file. 73523, codename Butcher. Suspect Jacob Wilk. Suspected of theft, fraud, illegal trade. Investigator Henry Wilk. Wilk? Wilk. Senior constable. Have they had him investigating his own brother? Certainly what it sounds like. Or his father or his son? Oh, interesting. Uh, hmm. I don't like looking through these <laughs> windows. Am I meant to use the reel somewhere? Over here. Ah, there we go. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Kinky. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so Henry was investigating the butcher, who I'm assuming was a butcher, <laughs> and he thinks he's been stealing meat from the people. But I don't know. I don't. I don't get the feeling. Henry is a man of the people. It seems like the people and the Republic is kind of used as an excuse to go and remove people they dislike, which is something government does all the bloody time. Claim to be supporting working class people, etc., when what you're really doing is using their anger at certain other people. Well, if we look at Brexit, for example, now I'm not saying everyone who voted for Brexit was doing it because of immigration and stuff like that, but it's no lie to suggest that immigration was a big focal point of the Brexit campaign. And Britain for the British and all this crap is a large reason of why people voted Brexit in the first place. Hello. It's like a dog thing. Despite the fact that immigration is by and large a good thing. Of course there are limits, but still. And people are like, oh, they're taking our jobs and stuff. Never mind getting angry at the government who are giving tax breaks to huge corporations, etc. No, no, no. See, the government want you to be angry at the immigrants, because then the government gets off lightly. Did I become this kind of person in the last few years? I swear I wouldn't have said this a few years ago. <laughs> if the government can get you angry at someone else, then... then... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Should I run? I feel like I should run. Then you're not angry at them, basically. This might not seem relevant, but it's actually very clearly a theme of this game. And I think it'll... <clears throat> I'm not sure it's come to light entirely, but there's definitely some stuff going on concerning the Republic and the meat. Ration stamps. Meat with bone. Okay, cool. So you get certain amounts of meat. Okay, so this is where he came. This is where Henry came, because clearly this is the butcher's. I'm assuming, basically, the butcher was supplied in part by the government farms and stuff, and he obviously had to dole out the meat via the ration stamps. And now Henry has accused him of taking said meat. I don't like this. <laughs> Henry's accused him of stealing said meat for himself. Something very weird is going on here. You can hear the slicing noise, like pigs being carved apart. I think we can move that, I just want to explore down here first. Where are you? Boy? I no longer want to explore down here first. I'm sorry, I'll go I'll go the other way. Come here! Ah. Shit. Uh, what am I meant to do? It's not looking away. Go, go now, go now. Run, run, run away from the butcher. <clears throat> uh, there you are. I'm wondering if I can get in that little hole on the left. Uh, Come here. Never tell where I can go. I can see the light. Sort of. <clears throat> Don't you hide from there, you are. There we go. That was weird. Oh, the poor piggy. So freaking amnesia, this. I think I've done this correct. Whew. Not always easy to tell, but looks promising. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Okay, interesting. Oh, is it just to get through? Yeah. Piggies will protect me. 
This is so weird. The constant noises of pigs being slaughtered. It's not pleasant. It's not quite enough to make me a vegetarian, but I'll tell you what, I have been considering it at times. Making it through. Not dead. <laughs> it's weird. My character's got this constant like light glow around him. It doesn't. It doesn't look like he's part of the environment in a weird way, which I guess in some way he's not. But easy does it, Thomas. Ooh, Nelly. I can never tell if I'm actually doing anything there. I am trying to adjust for the the, the wibbly wobbliness. Whether it actually achieves anything, I don't know. It might just be scripted. Hear an echo. It's a toy chest for the kiddiewinks. Steady hand, even motions against the grain, always against, never with, always against, never with. It's like a child's book on how to cut a pig up, which is unusual, <laughs> I think. Hmm, am I in here? Ah. Get a little kamehameha? Right, well... Aha. Uh -huh. Never with. Never go against the... Never go with the green folks. Always go against the green. If you're butchering a pig, I suppose. If Where any of you... Whoa! You, boy! boy. I wonder if any of you are planning to slaughter a pig today. I suspect not. Gotta get a move on. Kratos is looking for me. <clears throat> Bloody Nora, excuse me. If you randomly hear a... Um... Ah, that's why I need this. A, a vacuum cleaner. We keep telling... We have a cleaner. Yeah. We keep telling her to not hoover the floorboards in the corridor. But I think she runs out of things to do, so she does it anyway. And she basically started as soon as I sat down to record this video, so... Pretty sure she hates Where me. Where are you, boy? Boy! I wonder if he... I know he's looking for me and talking about me now, but is this reflective of him looking for someone else in reality? Maybe. Like, who was the boy... before it was Thomas? Is this not the same room? That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told. Huh. Identity card, Henry Wilk. Uh, 1979, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Agent of Security. Well, of course, I'm Henry, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. I know, I know what I mean. Henry was looking for the butcher. Yeah. Patriotism stronger than blood. Oh my god. Okay, not often do we see patriotism of such quality as was displayed during these past weeks by Senior Constable Henry Vilk. A simple officer of the Civic Police, Vilk showed his commitment to building a righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship, i.e. the brother we're looking for. His daring investigation into the now infamous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including one Jacob Vilk, Henry's own father. Okay, so that's why he's talking he's gone, boy, because it's his son, basically. The irregularities uncovered by Officer Vilk included corruption, theft of high quality meat products and replacing them for lesser ones. Hmm. Interesting. Apart from Jacob Vilk, numerous other culprits have been apprehended, including four directors of the socialised meat trade and several store managers. Trial is to commence this coming Thursday, and if the accused are found guilty of their crimes, they will face execution by hanging. When asked for comment, Officer Henry Vilk's response was simple, I only did what felt just. Truly the words of a patriot. Yeah, so this is clearly just full-on corruption going on here. 
you know, theft of high quality, right, first things first, theft of high quality meat products, replacing them for lesser ones, sounds to me very much like, you know, the poor who are living on these rations, whilst the rich hoard their meat are being, are complaining about the quality of the meat, maybe they're getting sick and stuff like that, and obviously the government has to put that on somebody, so rather than blaming their own low quality meat production or the ration stamps they're providing, what they do is instead blame what they call the socialised meat trade, i.e., this socialized non-governmental meat trade that you can't trust you should only trust the government and they're trying to protect you and blah 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 it's all about patriotism and the good of the nation and all this crap that people tell us anyways <laughs> oh hello cheeky find a way to stop Henry so I think at this point this is back when Henry is torturing Richard, right? Not Richard. Uh, <sighs> Thomas. Bloody Nora. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <clears throat> <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. So that was Vilk's recruitment into the Secret Service, I assume. It was weird because they didn't really ask, <laughs> didn't really tell him what the job is. I'm assuming when they say they were looking into people's potential, that was their way of saying they're looking into the people who have these these abilities, like like uh, Thomas does and like Marianne does, and that he implicitly knew what that meant, that those that potential and what people are capable of meant these people who have these powers, and Henry clearly has some obsession with that, given how he pursued Thomas. Is this making any sense? <laughs> it's not the easiest game to piece together sometimes. Which I'm pretty happy about in a lot of ways, it's just... You have to think about it every now and again. I know there were a few complaints that the story is a little bit convoluted, which I can kind of understand, but... I think you just have to sit back and try and think about what's going on every now and again. I guess. Where's that big popper monster? That's clearly the thing I'm going to have to stop, so let's just get it bloody over and done with. It's probably a pig, actually, not a dog. It's all so quiet. Shh. It's all so still. Slightly less quiet, admittedly. <clears throat> I do like the environment a lot. We're climbing like stacks of papers and giant, you know, filing cabinets, because obviously this is at this point Henry has given himself over to the surface to the service entirely, you know? No giant demon here. Make as much noise as you want, lad. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Neva? Special assignment for Major Henry Vilk. A person of interest has been found at a Neva workers resort near Krakow. I always thought Krakow was a K. Local investigators had reported of a strange case involving the painter brrr, Thomas. Is the painter? Oh no, maybe it's not. It's not Thomas. It's um. 
Right, Richard... It's Richard, yeah? Richard was the painter. Yeah. The person was found alive, but in a vegetative state, which we know, because, of course, he, had, he was the one with the nurse, basically, and she went crazy. Foul play was suspected, but examination didn't show signs of brain trauma, possible connection to the Gemini case. Consult the classified files. Keep it clean, keep it quiet. This is what I've been training you for. Strongly recommend you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist notes we acquired during classified in 1950. You've been granted access to archives entry 1138. This is for your, your eyes only, Vilk. Diggin. Report to your case officer for further briefing. Okay, so they're gonna go. They were coming not to look at Thomas, but they were coming to look at Richard. I.e., Richard the pedophile. And then obviously they discovered that Thomas was the one who What's this? did this in the first place. Subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another classified is talking to him, showing visions. Working theory, suspected connection to classified, possibly established as a result of a near-death experience. More tests necessary to confirm the split theory. Yep, sounds about right. Okay, let's move a little quicker here, Thomas, eh? <laughs> a little quicker. Oh, that's over there. Okay. Fine. Everything's fine. Fuck. Trying to read the note. Today's session halted prematurely due to an incident in the test chamber. While administering prescribed substances, lead scientist Dr. Classified, it's an interesting name, came to skin to skin contact with the subject. Classified was promptly hospitalized. Despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state from which he's yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. Hmm. Oh, of course, when Henry was beating up Thomas in the garage, he wore gloves with, like, um, knuckle dusters on them. So it's that physical contact. You need that physical contact that allows someone to jump into their mind, essentially. Fire the split. Ah, oh, pig boy! Great superhero of them all. Oh, bear with me. Reminder from today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous, needs to be restrained, both physically and mentally, for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. It seems weird to stand here reading this note while I hear the monster behind me <laughs> stomping about like crazy. God. Oh! Fuckers everywhere. Gotta watch my step. Thomas, please. This is a PG-13 channel. Actually, if this is a PG-13 channel, we're allowed one F-bomb per video. I think that's the rule for PG-13 films. You're allowed to say it once per film. Something like that. It never really made sense to me. What's the difference between saying it once or 300 times? Is there a difference? Be convinced that there is personally. Shit, here he comes. What the hell is that? Yeah. Shit. Hope it fucking hurt. Can't get past. Wait, did I crush it? Okay, I thought it was a pig, but it's definitely not a pig. It's got a skull for a face. Maybe it's half pig, half. Hi, right, buddy, calm down. Maybe it's part pig, part skull. But it's a human skull. That's what it wasn't. A, it wasn't a pig skull. It was a human skull. We're gonna have to do it again, aren't we? <clears throat> I'm not sure that's science. Timber! I am very surprised that we're still here. It's been 25 minutes and we're in the same area. Shocked. Where are you? 
you four-legged fuck. <laughs> All right, you need to calm down with these insults. Four-legged? Hello. Does have limbs coming out of it? Get me up here, can you? I would personally not be smack talking the giant demon, but a bit of a softy. What can I say? There, got you right where I want it. Crush him! Crush him! Crush the piggy! And stay the fuck down! No way, it's actually dead, right? Every now and again I hear like two voices. It's like I'm hearing both versions of Richard at the same time. Thomas, even. <sighs> so many names. <laughs> I haven't seen Marianne in bloody ages. <laughs> She's the main character. Oh! Why is Daddy freaky looking? Why is Mom? <laughs> Mom's terrified. Dad's becoming a cockerel, and the kid is in a wheelchair. Good times. I'm going away tonight. Business trip, short notice. Couldn't be helped. This is very sus. Won't you say goodbye to him? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I have work on my mind. I see. Then again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Whatever you wish, dear. Simon, where are you, boy? Boy. Dad? Hey, kiddo. Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. Now, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> My boy is a real child. I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? I. Yes, father. Use a good little wheelchair. Like bloody uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> don't worry, kid. This will all be over soon. And now it's much less like Amsterdam. Now it's much more like Lord of the Rings. Whew. Is that an elevator? right kid just come to me I'll put an end to it I'll set you free no it won't let us leave the monster it's... don't worry about the monster kid I'll deal with it I'll put it down for good not if it puts you down first what did you say <laughs>
Adrian? Remember? It's him. It was always him. Thomas. Thomas is gone. You're too late, girl. It's you. You tried to kill us! What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? to save us to save her maybe in a way that's exactly what he did this is fucking madness Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me.
I can finally talk. <laughs> it's been going. How it took so long. It was really interesting stuff. Don't get me wrong. Really enjoyed it. I just, I feel uncomfortable not talking for like eight minutes. Jesus. Ugh. Right. Okay. So, I mean, we'd already figured this out several videos ago, but it's it's proper confirmation that Thomas was our father. And Lillian, Lily, i.e. Sadness, is our sister. I, I mean, I think we gathered that quite a while ago. But the game has now beat us over the head with it, so... <laughs> Henry's monster. So basically, Thomas goes into Henry via that physical contact. And just like with Richard, who remember there's a little boy, the idea is to kind of banish the monster and send the innocent child version off into the next... Kind of like what we do here as Marianne, where she... Puts the mask on and says their name and sends them off to the next life or whatever, you know, to the afterlife properly. Rather than this limbo they're stuck at. I think Richard, no, Thomas was trying to do the same thing to Henry. But that little kid wasn't, he, he had no innocence. He, he, he was just born a monster, basically. So the kid and the monster are one and the same. And instead of being able to send the kid away, Thomas kind of got not necessarily killed in that spirit world, but beaten back, and Henry was able to resist. And then, obviously, Thomas beat him over the head with a wrench anyway, so it kind of didn't matter, but still. Then we run into Henry's demon form, and set that away. So, this raises an interesting question. Because we, we've beaten back, we as Marianne, we sent back Henry and Richard's demonic they're evil, basically. They're malice that roams through that sort of alternate world. We know there's another creature in here, the one that wants to wear our skin, and yet we don't know who it is, and we haven't... I don't think there's any body else. It could be other than potentially Thomas. Could it be our own father who's been trying to kill us in that skin-wearing monster form? I don't know. We don't know who it is. I don't think we've had any real... Hints about that. It could have been the. It could be the janitor guy. The. I can't remember what he was called. The groundskeeper. Finn? Finny? Fridgey? <laughs> I don't remember his name. Anyways, that was really cool. <laughs> that was really enjoyable. Um, I know it's been a week again since the last video. I am trying to ramp myself back up into doing Vagrant every day at the very least. Hopefully, we'll get there. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Discuss below. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.